Okay, this look I call Victorian Part 2 because it takes a reference point that existed in Victorian's time, which is the corset, but it modernizes it by just wearing the corset by itself. Normally, a corset would be over a shirt with billowing sleeves, but they're worn just as shirts alone in the goth community. Now, if you have a very structured one, like this cotton one, you want to contrast it with a flowing skirt. Um, once again, this skirt could have petticoats under it, um, and that contrasts, again, with the boots. So it's always, for every one hard thing that you have, you want to have a soft thing to balance it out. And, you know, you can combine what the velvet we were talking about and the corsets in a piece like this, for example. And this is obviously a regular corset um, in velvet. And you'll notice it has hooks at the bottom that would attach to stockings if I wasn't wearing stockings that went all the way up. So this is another really great goth piece, maybe goth piece number two. If you buy the boots and you buy this and some tights, you could put a few things together with it and it would all go really well. So this is a sort of modernized Victorian that's structured around the corset, which is another main piece in goth fashion. You'll also notice that it's in black. So if I don't do the velvet or I don't do the garters, I still want to be wearing black because that's really the foundation of the entire thing.